friends if you are looking for bakery style of snacks and also which are easy to make at home then this video is for you because today we are going to make vegetables puff pastry so let's see what all do we need for this I have taken vegetables and boiled them for 10 minutes two potatoes one carrot handful of green peas and four or five green beans then I have boiled them with a little salt water for 10 minutes and they are soft and then for tempering this we will be using onion one medium cumin seeds one teaspoon half a teaspoon of turmeric half a teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of roasted cumin seed powder you can also use a uh, general uh, cumin seed powder also which is not even roasted that's also okay then we need for this recipe is puff, puff pastries now these are already made ready-made puff pastries which are available in the stores so you have to get this for this recipe you can also make your own puff pastries at home but it's a little time consuming process so it's if you want to make something easy and quick you can get it store made and the instructions are written on the packet how much time you have to keep it out of the refrigerator so please follow that and roll it uh, with a rolling pin into thin stripes like this so you can make squares out of it you can make any shape you want so let's get started with making our vegetables first okay so i've taken one tablespoon of oil so let's first of all put our cumin seeds into it and wait for them to crackle so once they crackle we'll add our onions so our hot oil is nice and hot let's put the onions saute it for a while because it's a very quick recipe so it wouldn't take much time to make this filling and we have to keep our oven ready at 200 degrees celsius we have to preheat it for 10 minutes and then we will place our puff pastries in the oven and bake it for around 25 to 30 minutes or until they are golden so let's add all the spices we'll add everything together and of course salt to taste you can add green chilies also it's up to you in this recipe i have not added any green chilies but you can so i've added my salt and now is the time to add our vegetables so as the vegetables are already cooked we don't need to cook them really we just have to give it a nice mix so that everything comes together so it will be done very quickly and the only time it takes is the one which is in the oven vegetables are well coated in the masala so now just take a potato masher and mash it roughly you don't have to mash it completely but a little bit mash will be okay it, it just will taste better if you mash it a little once you put it in the puff pastry it will be much better so just do it like this and now it's time to fill up our puff paste so guys i have taken my baking tray and i have lined it with the aluminium foil and put some oil on it so that the puff pastry do not get, get stuck on it. so let's take the pastry and we have cut the squares out of it you can make any shapes you want so now we will take our filling and put it one by one one spoon of filling goes onto the pastry and then we are supposed to fold it like this and seal the edges and to seal the edges you can take a little water and it helps in binding this pastry and doesn't let the filling come out of it so like so you can also make some design with the help of a fork just from the back side you press on the pastry and it will give a wonderful design you can make as many designs as you want so like this it will become so now let's make all of them okay so friends our puff pastries are all filled up and I have greased it with some oil on the top so now we will place the puff pastries into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes okay so friends our puff pastries are ready and they look absolutely yummy 
now is the time to serve them so let's get going so you can serve them with some tomato ketchup or any dip of your choice so i hope you like today's episode please comment like share and subscribe and i'll be back with more interesting and easy videos now for the tip of the day instead of using the oil for glazing your puff pastries you can actually do it with some milk or an egg wash so let's see how crunchy is it yes it is crunchy and look at the beautiful layers and the filling now that's a sign that it's properly done so it took me 20 minutes please follow the instructions on the packet of the puff pastry and you will get great results so thank you for watching and have a great day